Hey everyone, welcome back. I'm going to be playing some more Fallen uh, Jedi Star Wars Order. And um, thanks for thanks for watching. Oh shoot. I don't know what's that. Oh, okay. Whoop. Whoop. Uh, there we go. Thanks for tuning in. I know I don't have a uh, schedule. As it were. And... You know, that's okay. That's okay. You tune in when you get the, when the, uh, when the alert comes across your page when you're already on Twitch you shouldn't get an email uh, you shouldn't get a phone call you shouldn't get a, a tweet um, that I'm going live you just tune in when you tune in that's that's fine I hope it takes me to where I were, where I was. Yep, exactly where I was. something to scan um, flora and fauna of this planet bog rats and splocks generally a hyper aggressive territorial species bog rats gradually formed uh, mutualistic relationships with splocks splocks will disturb boggling nests, luring them to the surface to be ambushed and eaten by bog rats. Once the adult boglings are out of the way, uh, splocks burrow into their nests and devour the eggs. That's unfortunate. And that light came on. That was cool. The more time I spend... Oh. The more time I spend here, the brighter it gets. Also, it's got that, uh... It's got that giant lizard in the background. Nothing to scan here. Nothing to scan here. Oh, right, right. Shortcut. You want me to go that way? What's not everywhere we've been? I can't make it over 
over there. there. We gotta, we gotta find, find another way. way. I could make that jump. is a bog rat. We'll burrow into the ground as a deception before attacking. Easy to parry. Avoid being surrounded. A common pest. The bog rat is a simple predator that feeds off small creatures like boglings. Uh, their poor eyesight makes them easy prey to the natural to their natural enemy the Ogdo often attacking in packs they will surround their foes in numbers appearing to retreat they are known to burrow below ground as a sly defense before springing to attack surprising their prey. Their hardened skin makes them somewhat resistant to lightsaber attacks. Traveling to the vault, a tool used by a traveler who wanted to reach the mysterious vault. Gris Dritus, uh, Dritus is a four-armed Latiro and captain of the Mantis. He works with Seer Junda and appears to hold her in high esteem despite his otherwise curmudgeon... curmudgeon... curmudge... curmudgeonly nature? Onali. Uh, after saving Cal from Braca, Grease reluctantly accepts the young Jedi's friendship. And Seer Junda is a former Jedi who survived Order 66. After years of seclusion, she teamed up with Starship Captain Grease Dritus on a secret mission to rebuild the Jedi Order. After saving Cal from the Imperial Inquis... In... Quis... Inquisitorius? She begins to mentor him. BD-1. Cal encounters BD-1 while exploring the mysterious world... Uh... Bogana. BD-1 is curious, good-natured, and utterly fearless in the face of danger. He has quickly grown attached to Cal and seems intent on leading the young Jedi towards something or someone waiting inside the ancient vault that looms over 
Bogana's Horizon. The second sister, a relentless Imperial Inquisitor, the second sister arrives on Baraka. Braca to hunt a uh, Calcestis, a surviving Jedi Padawan, sadistically toying with her prey, she ruthlessly kills Cal's friend, Prof. After striking, before striking, in the attack, Cal is forced to flee, barely escaping, but the hunt has only begun. The ninth sister, the sardonic ninth sister joins the second sister in hunting for Cal Kestis on Braca, a powerful uh do 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 The ninth sister's presence creates terror wherever she goes. A fact she relishes. Joro Tapal. Oh, the master. The memory of Joro Tapal, um, Cal's deceased master, still haunts the former Padawan, an imposing Lasat. Joro Tapal served the Republic with distinction during the Clone Wars. Prof. On Baraka, uh, an Abidonido, an Abidonido, an Abideni, an Abidonio, a scrap worker named Prof befriends and mentors Cal when an accident almost claims Prof's life. Cal uses the force to save him, but recklessly reveals himself as a Jedi. Soon, Imperial Inquisitors arrive for Cal, but Prof gives his life to save him. Does he, though? Allowing Cal a chance to escape. Does he, though? and a half. There are a lot of save points in this game. Maybe too many.
Where's my light piece? Oh. BD1 collected the seed for me? I can't cut that thing. I did. Oh. Uh, the para fish inhabit large bodies of water feeding primarily on small algae fragments and other plants. When algae supply grows scarce, many fish die off. Their decomposition process rises the acidity of the water, gradually wearing away at the ground below and forming sinkholes. Is that what I'm looking at here? The giant, the giant dragon is, uh, looking down at me. He looks friendly. Oh. Okay, scan that. Thanks, BD-1. Uh, Zora. Zor, uh, sorry. Zaur. Thrive in rocky, windy habitats where their low stance and adhesive grip provide fast and agile um, traversal over multiple surfaces like cavern walls. Highly sensitive to climate, they function slower in warmer temperatures than colder ones. Just so you know. And if you don't know, now you know. See something in there? There's a memory. the wall. Try again. Difficult, difficult master. master. Yes, the, the path, path is difficult. difficult. May, May seem impossible, impossible. But with, with persistence, persistence and the force as your ally, you will overcome any obstacle. You will master any path. Now, now do what, what you, you must to reach it. I did this all the time, just kept forgetting how to get out of places. Think you can show me that shortcut again? Okay. Bye, dragon. 
I think that's the closest I'm gonna get to a face-to-face uh, -face with that dragon. Meditation area, well hidden. Whoever was here knew the Jedi Order. someone who came from Coruscant. They were strangely frustrated with the Jedi Council for some reason. Some reason they were upset. That thing is glowing red. You think it may be a Sith artifact? Beeping about. Oh, skin. Don't stop me. Good job. The splocks attack in large groups and able to confort. Contort. Uh, evasive strikes, but easily killed. Splocks are large, agile insect insects usually found in groups and known to launch coordinated attacks to overwhelm their prey. They are omnivorous and use small, thin, uh, sprite-like wings to hover over terrain. They are able to contort their shape to quickly stagger their 
enemies providing time for others in the pack to strike. Gross. Everything okay, BD1? Glad to hear it. My controller was just rumbling. Holding up okay? Good to see you. I really need to sit. I'm okay. Too much. We're, We're not, not finished, finished yet. yet. Okay, 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 probably one. one. Probably. probably. Let's rest. Because we don't know what might be in there. Remnants of a lost civilization. Offerings. These relics contain materials that aren't native to Bogana. Their fragile structure indicates they were purely decorative, potentially objects of religious significance. It's possible they were carried here as a form of pilgrimage. Whoa. Inscriptions. The vault is built out of uh, carnite, a hard stone rich in minerals. Its inner walls are decorated with metallic plating and inscriptions, the glyphs don't return results in any galactic databank, uh, suggesting the language has been lost to time. Uh -huh. Right, I had to back up to, to walk up to it. This structure has been here for centuries. It appears the only way to open the vault is by using the force. Here I go. Shouldn't I just come out the other side? Amazing. That is some holiday magic right there. Santa Claus turning a a uh, stove into a full-on fireplace. Okay, okay, I'll look. You alright, BD? Well, well done, whoever you are. 
You have passed the test, I left behind. Master Brayton. And gain access to the vault and this recording, one of many encrypted logs stored in the droid. I am Master Ilo Cordova. Brayton. I may not know your name, but I know your purpose. The fate of the Jedi Order lies in your hands. This place, this vault, it is a sacred temple built by a vanished civilization known as the Zephyr. Meditating here, I was granted a premonition through the force of a vision of doom. I have placed inside this vault a Jedi holocron containing a list of the names and locations of young force sensitives throughout the galaxy. I hope you will find the inner chamber of the vault, but also another test. I can only trust this holocron to someone who has followed my path and understands. Seek out the hidden tombs of the three sages and learn to perceive the mysteries of the Force as the Zepho once see. In this drawer, you will find everything you need to succeed on this journey. Go to the Zepho homeworld. There, you will find peace in the eye of the storm. Good luck, Jedi. And may the Force be with you. Yes, you are the someone I was supposed to meet. And you're the Joker. You know, I've been alone for a while now. Without any purpose, just hiding. Still way to live. Not for a Jedi. Or a droid. You want to meet some, uh, friends of mine. Zepho. Zepho Dino. Archive 7. Goodbye. Secrets of the Vault. My friend, my name is Master N.O. Eno Cardova. Well, he 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 said the, all that. Okay. And that was that was Master Braytag from Stargate. How does that work? Take me somewhere else. I think I found what you wanted me to see. Sounds like it is. We'll be waiting. Scan that for me. Is it a boy or a girl? What'd you find? Sever the tongue. It's a it's a Ogdo. Sever the tongue with a combination of the force and lightsaber attacks. Highly dangerous. Lightsaber resistant. The Ogdo is a highly threatening alpha predator at the top of the Bogano food chain. This creature attacks with an adhesive tongue capable of reaching eight meters in length um, that latches onto its prey, then pulls them into its jaws. 
This form of strike is particularly effective against most foes due to its thick hide. It is able to resist a straight on lightsaber attack and is extremely dangerous at close range, often leaping at a target to close the distance. What's up with this? Ah, mysterious skeleton. The structure of these bones suggests a large reptilian creature. An analysis of elements within the bones date them as old as 1,000 years. Incredible. There's more to be discovered on Dathomir. Nice job. Now what's that? What was that? I, you didn't tell me what that was. Faded mural located on Vogano, not far from the Zaffo vault. It likely represents a planet, but the artwork is too damaged to make out any specifics. Okay. Is the shortcut. Should, Should be a lot quicker than the way. way. Scan that thing. 
Making a new friend. Boglings are small creatures endemic of uh, Bogano. Natural escape artists. Uh, they evolve to run on their toes. This technique allows them to quickly change direction or jump while navigating Bogano's mix of rocky and marsh-like terrain. Their furry bodies compensate for the heat lost throughout their bare feet. Makes sense. Sorry, should I not have done that? Uh, the Boggling Tunnel. Zzz. Connect their nests and serve as a natural defense against predators. Able to dig five meters per day. Boglings collaborate in heckles. A large or large packs spending approximately one third of their lifespan digging the intricate tunnel network. The more you know. You passed the test. So you know about BD1? Come on board. We'll talk inside. It's too dangerous out there. Oh, oh BD1, this is Grace. Hey, Grace. What is that? Get out! 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 That is BD1. He's with us. I don't care who he's with you. I have any idea how hard it is to get away from a state out of a me fabric. Not really. Oh, I hope you found something better out there than this droid. Oh, calm down, Grace. He did. Tell us, Cal. The Vault was built by an ancient civilization called the Zepho. A Jedi named Eno Cordova hid something inside of it. What did he hide inside? A holocron from the archives. It contains a list of force sensitive children. Oh. The next generation of Jedi. I knew it! Oh, Cordova, you old fool. You knew him? Yes. A long time ago. I was his apprentice. Cordova was a loner. That little droid and I are probably the only ones that know about Gargo. Oh, wait a minute, wait a minute. A hollow what? A holocron. It stores information, but only accessible to Jedi. Hang on, I think I have one around here. Use the Force. This is not the red wall, I regret to report that both our Jedi Order and the Republic have fallen. With that list of Force sensitives, we could rebuild the Jedi Order and defeat the Empire. Okay, no problem. Let's get it! Except the holocron is hidden deep inside the vault, and to get it, we have to follow Cordova's path. He mentioned something about the planet Dathomir and a Zeppo homeworld. All right, where are we going? I'm just asking because I was thinking maybe making some food. Look. Before we do anything, I need to know something. How come you're no longer a Jedi? I had an experience with it. Changed my perspective. So I cut myself off from the Force. But you still want to rebuild the Order. I believe that rebuilding the Order is the best chance we have against the Empire. What do you believe? I believe I can't keep hiding from the Empire, so I don't really have a choice. Now, as long as you're alive, you will always have a choice. Are you with us? We're in. Death mirror vessel. It's your choice.
rebuilding the Jedi Order. After revealing she no longer uses the Force, Seer sent Cal to an ancient vault. Along the way, Cal found a friendly droid <coughs> named BD-1 who joined the quest. <coughs> On their quest... <coughs> Sorry. Cal reached out to the Force, remembering his ability to wall run inside the vault BD protected projected a message of Master Eno Cordova detailing how he hid a holocron containing a list of known force sensitive children within. To access it, Cal must find the tombs of three Zapho sages. With BD's aid Cal embarks on a journey to rebuild the Jedi Order. Let's put the uh, the seed in there, huh? It's lonely in there. Better find more seeds. Kelpie. Like kelp. When you want to go, let me know. I'll be right here. Here. Can you feel the force at all? Yes. But instead of opening up, you push it back down. The exact opposite of what you should do. Not there. I remembered something about myself before the purge. It was painful, but like I found a piece of myself. That's good. You're learning to embrace the force again. How can you say that? Because I know what it means to live without it. Okay. I'll keep trying. Later, Cal. Please. Okay, I'll fly this thing. I'm rooting for you. Ah, rooting. I'm rooting for you. Let's. Whoa. I can not change his poncho. Or his outfit. If I'm dressed like this. Those are the Joker's colors. And that's uh, badass colors. Uh, Boba Fett colors. It's called Bounty Hunter. I'm only missing one. I'm missing five of these. I'm missing three ponchos. Yeah, yeah, that looks about right. Whoa, did I change the color of the interior, too? Or was it always that color? So, so next, let's, let's go, go to... to... We have to go to Zappho. I 
small boat. They will actually. No, it's fine. Look, we're all fine. Don't worry about it. Don't, 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 don't you have Jedi, Jedi stuff, stuff to do? do. Get, get to, to it, kid. kid. Does it feel like the Empire's here? A derelict Ooh. hangar. I'll check, check it out. out. Imperial excavation, strain storage crate, sturdy storage containers to transport fragile goods. The outside is made of a heavy metal that can easily withstand Zepho's high winds. That's uh, that's kind of sad. A stormtrooper died up here, and his body's being torn apart. Watch, Watch out, BD. Capable of two different attacks, will bile at a prey's heels or lock them down into with a leap that cannot be blocked. Uh, opportunistic, often surrounding prey when they are locked down. Scas are most commonly found in the shade or dark areas where they can maintain cooler body temperatures due to poor vision. They are especially vulnerable in bright light. They are most dangerous in packs, often biting and locking their jaws under prey, proving, providing an opportunity for the in others to strike. Spooky Dookie. Yeah, it's a dead trooper. May attack efficiently in large numbers. A lightsaber will reflect shots back at them. Imperial stormtroopers are the frontline soldiers of the Galactic Empire. Conscripted from worlds across the galaxy, they have been trained to, su to support the might of the Imperial War Machine and identify threats indiscriminately. Armed with a variety of weapons including long-range blaster rifles, 
they are most efficient in large numbers where they may provide overwhelming where they may prove overwhelming. Cal, can you hear me? The Empire. They found Zeppo. Zeppo. If they were following the Mantis, we would have been swarmed already. They'd be looking look for the tools? tools? Let's, Let's hope not. not. Just, Just out of hot work. I'll, I'll try, try the same workaround work around back into there. there. The attacks sometimes are a little too much, you know? Cutting something in half? This area is off limits. Imperial code 94364. No selling or trading. I bet they can sell and trade. Oh, my God. 
them away. Buster, no! A bag left by a family as they became separated. The father caused a distraction, allowing the mother to escape with her child. You think it was, uh, the same mother that was, um, with the cloth? A scout trooper can block limited lightsaber attacks, but defense is easily dis uh, diminished. Uh, easily defeated in single combat, but dangerous in numbers. Imperial scout troopers are especially trained are specially trained stormtroopers um, in service of the Galactic Empire for a range of missions. They are equipped with light armor for greater mobility and specialized helmets that allow for greater uh, adaptability. Armed with electro riot batons uh, when blasters are identified as insufficient. They are especially skilled in melee combat, crowd control, and defense against a lightsaber. They still run into lightsaber users, huh? Eviction notice. Civilians must immediately report for relocation. Looters will be shot. In accordance with Imperial Code 94364, no selling or trading without proper authorization and explicit consent. This property and its belongings are now under the protection of the Galactic Empire. General Markin, uh, 201st Squadron. Let's meditate, and, um, oh, I have three skill points. Okay, okay. Uh, Cal's maximum life is increased. Yes. Superior blocking. Cal's defenses are improved allowing him to take less block stamina damage from incoming attacks. Yes. And Cal's force is increased. I don't, I'm not sure I need that. Um, but I should learn it anyway, because that's all I can learn.
Our goal is to secure oil for the Galactic Empire. That door was red. I thought I had to use it. That looks like it used to be a home. But all this uh, dirt and stuff came out of it. I'm gonna heal one more time. Experience points for killing these guys?
lot of things that are impervious to lightsabers. bad eyesight. So don't forget to go to uh, all the parts of the game where you're not, where you don't feel like there's supposed to be something. Like it's not the next immediate thing you're supposed to do. Go there because that's where all the uh, customizable stuff is. Jumped off. That looks, looks like, like a problem. problem. When provided, pr when provoked, Philok's low vision makes it difficult to change course, often crashing into rocks when charging. Philok hooves adapted to keep them steady on mountain passes, making them resistant to the push and pull of Zepho's high winds. Uh, Philax Philox are masterful climbers 
able to move with ease on mountain passes, uh, mountain paths. Solitary by nature, they leave their mother's side early to find their own territory. The horns on their heads are their greatest weapon. When two flax clash, the sound thunders across the mountains. As they age, their horns steadily grow, adding a new ring for each year of their lives. Is that their eye in between? Is that their eye, like, right there? Or uh, do they have eyes there? It looks like they have eyes on their side. Picture of that guy. Oh, you can't. Cause he fell through. Oh, so did I. And I couldn't. I couldn't reach that. Couldn't reach that. I could not reach that. Stormtrooper Commander commands nearby stormtroopers, allowing uh, focused and synchronized fire on uh, targets. Equipped, equipped with grenades, uh, stormtrooper commanders lead their battalions into combat for the Galactic Empire. Recruited from countless systems, they have been trained to support the oppressive power of the Imperial War Machine. Their strategy and proficiency with an array of weapons allows them to coordinate attacks, command group maneuvers, and launch deadly assaults, if you didn't know.
this goes. This is the way back to the other tunnel. So I can slow them down for a longer time. You know what? I should probably rest. Because, um... I'm all out of stim. a heavy assault trooper, shielded, heavy long-range rapid-fire weapon capable of sustaining numerous hits, slow movement, long wind-up before firing, and cool-down period after attack provide uh, opportunities to attack. 
the heavy assault troopers are specialized infantry serving the Galactic Empire on the front lines of uh, war. They are primarily trained to defend combat zones as support squads to uh, stormtrooper patrols. They are highly proficient with the Z6 rotary blaster cannon which fires off steady rapid long-range bursts capable of inflicting heavy damage and shielded by a low emitter energy ray like the Gunkins in episode 1 they have those kinds of shields that block the block um, other lasers uh, blaster bolts I mean can't wait to watch these grow Was supposed to lead. Just supposed to look at that, I guess. Oh, yeah, there's a box here. Rocket Trooper. Rocket Launcher Trooper. Uh, manipulate and deflect projectiles using the force. Trooper will reload after firing, providing time to close the distance and strike. Uh, rocket Launcher Troopers are specialized stormtroopers serving the Galactic Empire's campaign over the galaxy. These deadly soldiers are armed with an RPS-6 smart rocket launcher, a long-range weapon that's incredibly um, difficult to deflect, trained to eliminate insurgent activity diminish uprisings and quell dissent. They provide an efficient means of ground support although menacing uh, their weapon must be reloaded after each shot allowing targets to evade or attack. Yeah, 
Exactly what he said. An auger. So they're mining? to block, parry, and use specialized spin techniques. Stronger stamina than their subordinates. Uh, scout trooper commanders lead squads of specially trained stormtroopers into combat for the Galactic Empire. Scout commanders armed with riot batons are extremely adept in melee combat and should not be taken lightly.
should meditate and maybe there's something here. A riot baton that belonged to the new commander of Project Augur. She was determined to make progress and prove herself. There's a box, obviously. Container used to transport many of the artifacts found during Project Augur. The workers doubted the worth of some items.
That's interesting. We're on the right track. When you die, you lose all your experience gained since the last checkpoint, damaging the enemy you who killed you will restore the lost XP and ref, uh, refill your life and force to their maximum. So it's going to glow, right? Yep, yep, yep. save that one for last because after I strike it 
it's gonna give me all my life back anyway. You saw it, he came right at me. Didn't even know that was there. I've never I've seen, seen a storm, storm do that, that before. before. Yeah, it's incredible. get down this elevator. A minute two. Man. And the Empire. What's down here? What about Portillo? Still not sure what I'm supposed to find. He's a little... Excenter? Tell me about it. But he wouldn't send us here for you. Keep an open mind. See that? The Eye of the Storm. The crew traveled to the Zepho homeworld, searching for the tombs of Cordova. Searching for the tombs Cordova mentioned. They learned the Empire occupied Zepho in order to mine ancient artifacts. Um, the directive, codenamed Project Augur, was terminated after Zepho's magnetic winds proved too difficult to deal with. Now Cal and BD-1 find themselves inside an ancient Zepho tomb looking for messages from Cordova. Ugh. I guess I squeezed through here. Look at it. 
Gungus. Avoid contact. Moving carefully around Central Pod. Avoid contact. Moving carefully around Central Pod. Explosive core may be utilized as a defensive as a defense against other enemies. Skungus are parasitic plant-like organisms containing explosive toxic spores which may detonate uh, when a threat approaches. Smaller pods burrow underground in clusters to comprise a larger central hive known for their putrid smell and soft brain-like tissue. Various forms of this invasive species exist. Gross. I don't like how they tremble. Artifacts? My bad. Okay, as I remember it, this is a tough cookie to uh, crumble, so let's um, get a skill point in. Thanks for watching. Um, I'll see you in the next video. Happy holidays. And um, say, say hi to your family. You know, give them a call. Uh, let them know you care. And um, yeah, happy, happy holidays, you know.
This is uh, Pancake, the Syrup King, signing out. Okay? <laughs> and uh, take care. Take care now. You can you can go now. Thanks for watching all the way. You're still here? Okay, well uh since I got you here and it it is the holidays, so uh I got you something. Just kidding. <laughs> um, a little, little bit of Christmas, Christmas uh, or or holiday money. You know, eight days of Hanukkah just happened. You know what I'm saying? Um, so yeah, yeah. Happy holidays and 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 bless up to uh, all your all your friends and family. You know, let them know you care. I care. Okay, take care. Bye-bye.